Okay, this is part three. Uh, so this is what we did uh, last time. So let's increase uh, the resolution to say, uh, let's try the final resolution to about, see, uh, let's see, 130. So this time was two. You can also see that I, I have my final display under viewport all set to final. Uh, yours might, might be at preview and this will preview the resolution you have, the, you have here. I think this is a percentage of uh, what you have here. But uh, to make sure that uh, what you see in the viewport is the same as your final resolution, you can just change this to final and uh, you'll be seeing that. So let's bake this again and see. I'm not going to cut this out uh, because I don't really like editing these videos. It takes a lot of time, so you will have to bear with me on this and sit through it with me. You can see the fluids are getting, are becoming more detailed, uh, but uh, to have really high detailed fluids, you, you would need to bump this up to about, uh, I don't know, uh 500 the resolution would be around 500 or 600 uh, to, for it to be really high resolution uh, but uh 130 is still very low resolution uh, as you can see so let's bump this up to let's say uh, let's see let's see what 250 you can also see the memory that is required here also increases and uh, you can see the fluid simulation percentage here so as this is uh, simulating we can go to shading hopefully we don't break uh, this let's first uh, move So if you see these kind of jagged uh, edges, you can just go to the, I've canceled the simulation, you can just go to the uh, fluid domain settings here. And uh, <coughs> let's see, let's see. Uh, under boundary and uh, increase uh, the surface small thing uh, to something, I don't know. Just experiment and see what works. Uh, because every scene is going to be different so you would need to experiment with what with with yours and see uh, what works for you so let's go to shading and uh, start working on this i can hide this and uh, add materials to this one here to the bucket i would recommend not to do this while the the simulator is working because blender might crash and uh, yeah, but uh, I don't want to sit and wait for that, and uh, I don't feel like editing these. So I'll be working on the I'll work on the textures as uh, the fluid simulation works as well. So we find a metallic texture here. Metal, 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 metal. metal. Discover yeah, So if you, you can see we, we just set this to 250 but uh, you can see how long it's taking. So if you bump this too high, you might want to go uh, do something else and then come back and see how it's going uh, because it might take uh, some time. Uh, the good thing about this is that uh, you can always come back and see how much 
has been simulated yet so just unhide this and you can see when I bumped up the what was it uh, this surface mothing uh, we removed uh, some of those jagged faces uh, but uh, uh, the fluid intersecting with this with the bucket is because of our resolution uh, the, the higher the resolution the less interaction uh, intersecting you will see uh, so yeah if you see, you are experiencing any intersect intersecting just increase uh, the uh, resolution I'm fine with this because increasing the resolution will also increase uh, the simulation time so let's uh, see how far has this gone I think that's an artifact there that's uh, sorry and uh, that's a bug that is a bug now the fluid is stuck inside the thickness of uh, the water of the bucket but anyway since I've just shown you how this works let's just use a resolution of, uh, of one, 128 so that uh, this maybe loss let's also increase the small thing to maybe five and then of course that will introduce a lot of artifacts but uh, we just want to get something to work with here in the simulator in the shading also you can also smooth shade uh, your water But uh, increasing this surface smoothing will also remove some of the detail in the water. So let's put this at a, let's bring it back at 1.2 big. And uh, instead of using the surface smoothing, increasing the surface smoothing, we'll just add a subsurface, uh, a subdivision surface modifier to make uh, the water more smooth that way see all of that detail was getting lost in the surface smoothing now I think this is enough so around 20 21 frames and we can play back and see so everything is a bit fast so you can just slow use your ball a bit so that it doesn't hit uh, the bucket that fast uh, uh, the purpose of this tutorial was just to show you the different techniques of achieving this and uh, yeah so the the fluid should be simple I don't I'm not given let me just give this a metallic uh, look like that and uh, for the fluid just need to increase the transmission here to one and uh, remove reduce the roughness and go to the material settings and turn this to adaptive <coughs> and there you have of course if you're using blender EV uh, it's not really going to render uh, the fluid very realistic so you want to use a uh, cycles to render the fluid and see that is uh, the water and uh, you can also add a subdivision surface modifier on that to make the fluid uh, smooth but uh, this is likely going to uh, crash your computer if 
uh, you have a really high dense mesh for your fluid or a really high resolution fluid but uh, yeah so let's see this is on off and this is on yeah thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video